Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've got a whole range of Rolled Angel dash cams, specifically the Halo range. And what we're going to be doing is taking five separate videos to review these one by one. So we'll go through each individual dash cam. Hopefully, if you like any and you want to proceed with the purchase, Rolled Angel's been kind enough to actually give us a discount code for our viewers. So make sure you use the code CRD20 for 20% off. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Halo Ultra, which is actually one of Road Angel's top-end dash cams. It's the only one available currently in their lineup that has a 4K resolution. So I'm really expecting this to have good quality uh, day and night vision. So um, we're going to obviously be testing that as part of this video. So stay tuned for that. Now, functionality-wise, it's pretty much all the same standard stuff. So you've got your G-Sensor, your parking mode, etc. One of the extra added elements that it does have though is GPS, so built-in GPS and actually telematics data that comes with it. So you'll obviously need to use the apps to get the data out of it. And again, something that makes the Halo Ultra a little bit more unique compared to the others is it's actually got inbuilt storage um, within there. So we'll see when we open it whether there's a slot for expanding that storage, but by default, you've got 64 gigabytes built into the device. So it's the first one that you should actually be ready to just set up and go. So let's have a quick look at what's included within the box again. Okay, so a bit more premium packaging than what we've been accustomed to so far in the other reviews. You've got your quick start guide, which is actually within a little piece of plastic. So just something again, slightly different. You can see the packaging again has this nice little reflective gold um, element showing you that you bought the premium uh, range. So the dash cam itself actually looks and feels a lot more premium. So it's a lot more heavier and feels a lot more sturdy. So you've got your USB-C socket there, which again shows you that this is a modern dash cam um, with a recent switch over to using USB-C. You've then got this magnetic um, strip here, which I can only imagine used as part of the holder, which I'll show you in a second. And then it doesn't look like there's an obvious place for a expansion. So that looks like a power button or a reset. And then we'll just peel this off for a second. So, and, and you've got this carbon fiber style of effects um, on the front here. Again, uh, just looks pretty good. And there you've got your 64 gigs of internal storage identified. So let's see what the holder looks like. So you've got your holder, which goes around like so. You've got your cutout for where the USB-C is gonna go. And then this magnetic aspect that I saw up here, there's a little metal back plate there just to hold it in place. So you can just see it there. And basically what should happen as we slide it in, there you go, you heard that little click and that's the dash cam held nice and steady. This has to be guys, I'm, I'm honestly saying the best looking camera that they've got in their range. It certainly looks um, very premium. Just to show you the difference, I'll pop up the Halo Go, which is their entry dash cam right next to it. And you can just see the difference in the build quality there. So you've got a little flimsy-ish cap here for covering the SD card. And I mean, it's, it's essential, right? This is a bare bones essential dash camera. This is a fully fledged, it's got GPS, telematics, etc. So it'll really be interesting when we get through to the app. But just finishing off what's in the box, you've got you've got your little pry tool there, and then you've got your USB um, cable there as well. So it will have a 12 volt charger in there and the USB type C cable. So guys, one of the things when you flick to settings um, that's different on the Halo Ultra because of the GPS is it basically gives you a score based on your driving. So rapid acceleration, hard braking, any sudden turns, and then a nice little fun numeric score. So it gives you a rating out of, well, I presume is 100 and tells you how good you're doing. It'll give you a start and finish location, distance, time, and a few other things. What you can then, then do is drill down into this. It'll give you a little chart of how you did, where you went, um, where you were actually doing some of the harsh stuff. Um, and then what you can actually do is go down into this, which is pretty cool, export it. So again, you've got your images down here, right? So like a little snapshot here. Um, it's showing you your max speed um, throughout that period, how that went, um, any elevation, 
changes, acceleration, performance, etc. So this is probably a bit skewed just because I've been messing around with it parked up, but you get the idea that I'd be able to track all of that information. And then by pressing the little picture icon at the top, the camera icon at the top, and then what that ends up doing is basically overlay all of this onto what looks like a JPEG image. Um, and then you can basically just hit, where is it? You can just hit save and yeah, job done. So really good, really good feature to have. I mean, it's nice. I personally thought the GPS was just for having the sake of tracking your speed, but it's nice that Road Angel have taken this a, a step further. It's also worth saying, in terms of the Halo Ultra, Road Angel's also built in the safety function. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll put it up on screen right now. And what this essentially does is work like a proximity sensor. So if the camera feels the car ahead is getting too close, it will give you an audible warning um, to basically increase your distance. But um, really cool stuff to have. It's very much like modern day um, pre-sense warning um, or proximity warning that the modern cars have. The process for pulling the footage off is exactly the same as you come through the application. I'll just quickly show you um, how you do that. Once you're in there, you can literally use this as a playback tool to find the date, the time, etc. that you want. Let go on it and you can tap it and it will play. And then simply just press download here and then it will download that for you. So what I'm going to do now guys is go out and carry on getting some more footage and then we'll come back and review the Halo Ultra whether the 4K premium price tag is worth it. Right guys, so this is actually the same um, clip that we filmed across the different cameras. So you would have seen this in the Halo view, but straight away you can see with the Halo Ultra, the colors are a lot more rich and vibrant. The detail also seems to be there um, a lot quicker. So bear in mind that everything that you're seeing is actually been scaled back down to 1080p for the purpose of this video. So the actual 4K is a lot more detailed. But what you'll see in a second is we've actually not lost that much detail downscaling it. But after this clip, I'll throw in the um, previous footage from the Halo view and you'll be able to see the difference between the 4K and the 2K sensors. But I mean, initially, everything looks this is the most detailed um, footage that we've seen so far in all of our road angel testing which isn't a surprise to be honest um, it's what you'd expect from it having the um, highest resolution so so let's now look at the same footage from a couple of weeks back on the halo view you can see it's actually slightly washed out compared to the one we've just seen from the halo ultra as expected as a 2k camera versus 4k but hopefully this is showing you back to back the difference in the detail and i'm expecting this to be a similar comparison when we look at the halo pro next but just to emphasize the difference what i'll do now is just throw in some screenshots to show you the difference in detail so first up here's a screenshot from the halo ultra over on the right hand side you can see there's a furniture shop with the halo ultra you can actually make out the detail but let's have a look at the same angle and the same time from the halo view just to give you a difference between the 4k and the 2k detail captured so obviously taking into account that the angle is slightly different but what this shows is the writing's a lot more blurry so not easy to make out whereas in the 4k everything was captured well here's another example with the halo ultra so if you look at that blue taxi cab just in front you can make out the writing on the right hand side where it says simpler cloud now let's flick back to the Halo view and see if we can see the writing. So not only is it looking a bit more washed out in terms of the general colors, but you can see you can no longer make out what's written on the right hand side of the taxi cab. So just goes to show that the 4K um, uh, resolution is just that much better and probably worth the extra premium price tag, I guess, if you want to capture the detail. The only drawback for me of the Halo Ultra is the fact that it's missing a rear camera. It would have been nice to have a um, camera within the Road Angel range that had a front and back both on 4K, so like a really, really top end and um, premium. But otherwise, um, I mean, it's been good so far. I mean, right now I'll overlay some footage of the night camera. Um, again, you can go back and compare this if you want, but it's the same stuff. The detail's really, really good. 
um, and it is the best camera that we've tested so far. So it'll be interesting to see how this stacks up against the Halo Pro, which we're reviewing next. Um, that is a 2K camera, uh, but it does have the GPS capabilities that we've shown in this video. So with that said, guys, remember, if you are looking to purchase this, use the 20% code CRD20, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.